Tomo News presents Robot Animals. Stray amputee cat fitted with prosthetic paws. A stray cat in Sofia, Bulgaria is getting a second chance at life in more ways than one. A groundbreaking surgery has suddenly changed his fate as he's recently been fitted with prosthetics. Pooh the cat lost his hind legs in an accident last year as a kitten. It's believed he was run over by a car or a train. His difficult situation made him a good candidate for a prosthetic surgery method called ITAP, where the titanium implant pegs against the bone directly. The protruding titanium stems provide a secure attachment point for the cat's paws to snap in, which are made of Bulgarian polymer and rubber. For the procedure to be a complete success, Pooh's skin will eventually grow over the bone and stem tightly enough to prevent infections. Now 10 months old, Pooh the cat is running around fine on his new hind legs and has even been seen cleaning them. Another young amputee cat, Steven, has now also undergone the same procedure. These are Bulgaria's first successful feline prosthetic surgeries and the first in all of Europe outside England. In 2009, a cat named Oscar was fitted with prosthetic hind legs in a similar procedure, which cost roughly $62,000. Pooh's surgery cost roughly $1,600 and was paid for by donations from the animal shelter that cares for him. Now that he's got his legs back, all he needs is a new home. Robocat, anyone? Google's new robotic dog takes abuse from its engineers and will probably end up killing us all in a decade for it. A Google subsidiary named Boston Dynamics has unveiled a new robot dog named Spot on YouTube that is going as viral as its quadruped forebearers. The four-legged robot uses an electric motor to power hydraulic actuators, giving it animal-like mobility. In the video, Spot can be seen walking indoors, walking outside up hills, climbing stairs, and running. Spot also gets kicked, showing off its autocorrection sensors and will probably be one of the reasons for humanity's downfall. Just kidding. Maybe. Anyway, weighing in around 163 pounds or 73 kilograms, Spot is the leanest and most agile in a long line of canine and bovine-like robots from Boston Dynamics. Earlier iterations were larger and developed to carry heavy loads. However, Spot has been built for search and rescue or scouting. Now, Boston Dynamics was based in Walton, Massachusetts and was purchased by Google for an undisclosed amount of money in December of 2013. The division which has worked with DARPA in the past has gained an international reputation for these machines that walk with an uncanny sense of balance, can run at cheetah-like speeds faster than the fastest humans, and jump up to about 30 feet or 9 meters. U.S. Navy develops drone that looks like a shark. The U.S. Navy has developed a new unmanned underwater vehicle that looks and swims like a shark. The U.S. Navy's new robot shark, called Ghost Swimmer, is 5 feet long and weighs about 100 pounds, making it about the size of an albacore tuna. The robot can operate in depths ranging from 10 inches to 300 feet. It can be controlled via a 500-foot-long tether and transmit video and data in real time. It can also be launched without a tether and transmit data when it surfaces after underwater missions. The robot uses its tail for propulsion. Because it looks and moves like a real fish, the ghost swimmer is hard to spot and thus ideally suited for surveillance missions. It can also be deployed to detect underwater mines. The ghost swimmer is part of the Silent Nemo project, which draws inspiration from objects in the natural world to make robotic designs. This robot water snake hunts pollution on autopilot. Meet Lake Geneva's newest swimmer, the Envirobot, an autonomous pollution hunter. Gulp. The EnviroBot is four feet long and comprises several special purpose modules that constitute its eel-like design. The purpose of these modules are twofold. First, each has a small electric motor that lets the robot swim like a water snake. Secondly, each segment has a unique sensor for gathering a variety of data. For example, biological sensors contain tiny organisms or bacteria that react to the presence of pollutive toxins. Meanwhile, electrical sensors can track water temperature and chemical sensors test water acidity. More modules can be added as needed. The robot can swim on a route or make its own way through a body of water to find the source of pollution. And while it's very cool, we're not exactly sure we'd want it swimming beside us. Cutest robot ever. 
Sony's Ivo robot dog is back after playing dead for a decade. And not only is it adorable, it's also a heck of a lot smarter. The mechanical pup is equipped with ultra-compact actuators that allow it to do a plethora of lifelike dog movements and OLED puppy eyes to show a range of expression. Ibo can form emotional bonds too, or so Sony claims. The robot dog will actively seek out its owners and learn what makes them happy. Its behavior also changes over time as it adapts to its environment, eventually forming its own unique personality. All thanks to AI. But as with any purebred Japanese dog, Ibo's are expensive. A unit costs over 1700 US dollars, and that's not including the mandatory monthly plan. You may not be spending on kibble, but your RoboPub needs its daily dose of data. The basic plan provides LTE and Sony Cloud access for less than $30, though you're locked in for three years. Definitely a pricey pup. Anyone who's willing to blow money on a mechanical canine companion can pre-order theirs ahead of the January 11 release date. But know that it's only available in Japan. Robo Deer catching illegal hunters everywhere. Poachers nationwide are being left with no idea what to do. Why? Some deer are still standing after being blasted full of lead. The reason? They're Robo Bambi. The robotic deer that help nab poachers are made from taxidermy deer. The body is fitted with a radio control system that moves the head, ears, and tail independently. Wildlife officials set up the robo deer by the side of the road and then wait nearby for someone to take the bait. A remote control is used to move the decoy deer and make it look more realistic. In October, two men in Maryland were caught after they shot at a robo deer with crossbows. Similar to other cases, charges filed against them included having a loaded weapon in their car, shooting from the road, and shining a light at the deer. Most charges were dropped after both suspects pled guilty to spotlighting the deer. But what's the fate of these robo decoys afterwards? Well, the mechanical animals are built to be shot and can withstand many injuries, just like uh, the Terminator. <laughs> Yikes! Researchers develop roach-like robot could save lives. Researchers at UC Berkeley have newfound inspiration after studying the American cockroach. The roaches, they say, are impressive for their abilities to squish their bodies down to one quarter their normal size and still travel at lightning speed. They can also withstand 900 times their body weight without being hurt. That's equivalent to a 200 pound man who wouldn't be crushed by 90 tons on his head. Scientists have wanted to duplicate the cockroach's abilities and have created a robot they named Cram, aka Compressible Robot with Articulated Mechanisms. Cram's shell is segmented, allowing it to shrink down like a roach. Well, almost. A cockroach can actually shrink smaller. But Cram can still travel in small spaces, something researchers believe could be useful in rescue situations. Cram could be a first responder robot seeking out those trapped in tight spaces. It's been said cockroaches would eventually take over the world. They're now just one step closer. Robot bees are creating a buzz. Scientists in Japan have built a robot bee designed to help ease the burden of pollination duties amid a dwindling bee population. The robot bee is a tiny drone covered in horse hair that mimics the fuzzy body of a real bee and coated with an ionic liquid gel. In laboratory conditions, the remotely controlled drone has successfully absorbed pollen from a lily petal and artificially pollinated a second flower. Scientists do not think robot bees can replace real bees, but see them as a supplementary aid for pollination, which is essential for growing many crops. Unmanned robots have been developed to liquefy 900 kilograms of jellyfish in an hour. The jellyfish removal robot system, known as Geros, has an autonomous surface vehicle and a navigation system. The two-cylinder hull keeps the vehicle stable. Geros can move and rotate via its propellers. Geros's camera and visual processing algorithm can detect jellyfish. The navigation system then computes a path to perform jellyfish extermination. When Geros is positioned, the propulsion sucks up and liquefies the jellyfish. In an initial trial, a fleet of three exterminators shredded up to 900 kilograms of jellyfish in just one hour. Jellyfish infestation is a major problem in North Asia. It costs the Korean fishing industry approximately $280,000 a year. 
Dragonflies can be used to spy on you. Scientists have created a technology that can turn flying insects into surveillance drones. The technology makes use of a tiny backpack equipped with solar power and navigation systems. The backpack is fitted onto a dragonfly and commands the insect with optogenetics, a biological technique that uses light to control the steering neurons inside the insect's nerve cord. Dragonflies can then be turned into tiny surveillance systems. The same setup can be applied to other insects of a similar size, such as honeybees. Other applications of this technology may include guided pollination, payload delivery, and precision medicine and diagnostics.